Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. Today is the 28th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 3.08 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I just woke up. But anyway, this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to find me guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Please bear with my voice. I'm kind of losing it. <laughs> um, Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn what's coming up for them within 24 hours. Let's see. The lovers. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, Hierophant. Please bear in mind that there will be a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end. Got the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? Some of you are falling in love, okay, within 24 hours. Please, again, bear in mind a lot of details in this, this type of reading, so just say what resonates with you may not happen to each and every one of you, okay? Um... And the prediction can go a little bit longer than 24 hours. Don't take the timing too um, rigidly, okay? <laughs> anyway, Nada Cups is the knight in shining armor, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be this sign, the water sign, but can be anybody. It just feels like this is someone very romantic. You might fall in love with this person or this person might fall in love with you, but it looks like it could be mutual, okay? There are feelings being exchanged here. Six of Pentacles and the Lovers and the Hierophant. You could, you know, if this is not a romantic connection, it could also be a friendship where either you're going to meet a new friend or your existing friend. Both of you are going to be doing something together, okay? Making a pact with the Hierophant, making plans together to either do some charity, Six of Pentacles, um, to embark in a journey together because of the lovers right here. The lovers can indicate partnership. could also be a partnership in business, in your career, Six of Pentacles. I actually really like this row, this, this row right here, but I'll get to this one in a bit. It just feels like if there's a romantic connection, the lovers, Six of Pentacles, Hierophant, this energy of like, hey, finally I've made my choice. I'm choosing to be with someone or to be in a um, situation or an environment where it serves me the best, okay? Serves me well, serves me the best. I feel it's the, <clears throat> it's a fair situation, a fair equal give and take sort of a situ situation or connection, okay? Some of you, it could be an offer at work or in or when you're working, you feel like there's this harmony. Like if you if you work with people, yeah, if you work with people, if you have to um, communicate with people, deal with people, I sense within twenty four hours you're gonna feel good about um, connecting with these people because there's this understanding, this equal give and take, um, so much love, okay, so much giving and receiving. That's uh, what I'm seeing here, okay? But again, romantically, this could be someone making a choice to treat you better, to treat you fairly, and the Hierophant here to understand where you're coming from, or you are going to be gaining understanding in regards to what, how to deal with somebody, um, what, or what to give to this person, what to give to this connection. Okay, and we've got the Queen of Wands right here. You could be embodying the Queen of Wands, which makes you really powerful, very attractive. And um, someone may find you really, really attractive within 24 hours. It could be online or it could be if you were to go out, putting yourself out there. Um, I'm also another sign, by the way. But within 24 hours, I'm going nowhere. I'm staying in my hotel room. <laughs> so for those of you who go out, feels like for those of you who go out, you someone is going to find you very attractive. 
but for some of you maybe it's online okay but i feel more like it's outdoor because if you if you look at and you're gonna be surrounded with people right because there are multiple people here one two three one two three one two <laughs> so it feels like it's an outdoor and if you look at these places they're outside except for this one the high front well outside means outside of your home right could be in in a building in some sort of in, in a public in a public place okay or at a workplace got the judgment here in reverse and then we've also got the chariot in reverse king of pentacles this is your energy as well four swords six of cups in reverse so for all we know, we, you could be embodying all of these court cards here, okay? If that's the case, I see you definitely bossing up, um, making moves or thinking about making moves in regards to your finances or your career within 24 hours with the four swords here. Four swords is like a lot of thinking, a lot of, um, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, for some of you, you're making big plans within 24 hours when it comes to, especially when it comes to your finances and your career, the higher front here. Hmm. For those of you looking for a job, I see you continuing doing that, okay? But if you are already established financially, I see you thinking about, you know, full swords and the higher front here, how to make even more money, okay? <laughs> not saying that you're greedy but um you're an earth sign so you're practical you're grounded you want to feel secure you want to feel safe right so i think you you're gonna feel for those of you who are financially established you're gonna feel safe but also you're gonna be thinking about what to do next or what to do more but if but for some of you, if you're, you don't have a job, I do see you looking for a job, planning, strategizing here, four sorts. Could also be going for an interview, maybe online or in person, or you may hear news in regards of you going for an interview. Um, some of you, you're just applying for a job, because if you see there are two people down here, while well, there's one sitting up, it looks like an interview, doesn't it? Right? Even though this is a teacher-student dynamic, so you're going to be studying, learning something new within 24 hours. Learning especially how to make more money, how to, or it could be learning new skills where it's going to be profitable in, in the future, okay? It's like a plan. There's a plan there, okay? And we've got the chariot here in reverse, six of cups in reverse. I feel like someone is going to make you feel that, hey, this is the way things should be. The way people treat you or the way you treat people, um, there's this sense of realization too that this is how it's supposed to be, right? I'm never going to go back to how things used to be when I wasn't too happy, when I was, you know, making wrong judgment calls in the past, the chariot in my first, things that you thought were how it was supposed to be, how it was meant to be. You know, I, I see you changing that, okay? Because someone is going to show you how, Six of Pentacles. Whether it's you watching a YouTube video, anything, or learning something new, I do sense you, I do sense like there is something about, let me show you, you know, look at him. His hand is, you know, like giving. So it's like, and right next to Hierophant, it's again, like it could indicate education higher learning so i see you being shown or it could be you showing to someone how to do things the way the right way okay um and the lovers here and it comes i feel like the lovers it has a really nice energy to it it's like i'm teaching you or i'm showing it this to you out of love and it's being done in a way where with so much care um, it could be someone treating you this way within 24 hours or you're treating someone this way you're showing to someone that hey this is how it should be right not the six of cups and reverse um, six of cups and reverse can indicate bad memories so something about not returning to how things used to be not wanting things to be how it used to be okay and the queen of wands you're making moves the queen of wands is the queen of action so you're going to be making moves towards making this choice 
to achieving something that you feel um, that is better for you that you feel that you know this is fair okay this is how it should be and again it could be someone showing you how to do this or someone making you realizing that oh you're gonna do that to someone okay the judgment reverse again no return to the past i see a lot of you are making moves for swords thinking about how to move forward how do i move forward how do i get out of this six of cups here in reverse not returning to how things used to be uh, or not returning to places you've been before um you know it could be metaphorically or it could be literally let's see more for some of you it's this contemplation of whether you should stay or if you should leave right there is a bit of a delay right here in terms of these plans that you could be planning and the sun here is in what first and we've got the queen of pentacles so i do really like the queen of pentacles that's your energy virgo taurus capricorn um like oh look king and a queen perfect so this could be a great business partner some of you spirits could be saying hey you know maybe you can partner up with someone and do something start a business together um but be careful though i don't know why because now you've got the king and the queen and then we've got you've got the queen of wands this queen of wands when she appears especially when when there's a king and a queen present that means this could be someone who could be meddling into your situation or your connection okay again this could be a person who is meddling into your love life or meddling into your career meddling your career like just an outsider who is coming in to disrupt things okay because now that the sun is here and it's in reverse i don't really see the queen of wands in a very good light so i feel like this person could be someone who's gonna come in and try to interrupt things trying to interfere or trying to interrupt something that could be that you could be getting trying to get going okay we've got the fool here and our first hmm. i see there is someone within 24 hours who's gonna feel because the queen of queen of wands can be quite jealous and see and the thing is the king and the queen are not looking at each other as well so this makes me feel like uh, just be careful within 24 hours someone either might talk gossip or someone it could be anybody yeah it doesn't have to be a, um you know a it feels like it it doesn't have to be like a third like a love triangle situation it could just be someone telling you a naysayer right the judgment reverse like a naysayer say oh no 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 whatever you're doing it's not good not, not good enough or whoever you could be with this person could be telling you oh, this person is no good you know there's someone who is gonna say something negative to you to either be, maybe because they're jealous or maybe because they're just like could be a karen or could be a you know no offense to people with the name Karen, but or just like somebody whom is very negative, a naysayer, okay? So because the Queen of Wands feels like it's someone who's like know it all at this moment, especially right next to the sun in reverse. Usually it's the Queen of Swords, but I don't know why. Right now this moment the Queen of Wands looks like um the is embodying a bit of the queen of swords because of this combination right here the sun and we first and we've got again the knight of cups we've got one more person here okay for those of you um hmm. see that's something that i feel you know what if you if you are currently connected whether it's a friendship or a love love relationship if or even a business partnership okay any sorts of connection someone is gonna try and show you that you'll be better off partnering with them than the existing partner or could be an ex okay so someone is gonna show you so much love the nine of cups the love of six of pentacles again this energy of someone showing you like i'm i'm better for you i'm a better partner for you this is how things whether whether they say it directly 
or indirectly it's gonna make you feel like okay now i i don't really like where i'm at right now now i don't really like who i'm with right now <laughs> who i'm with right now who i'm partnering with right now because now i'm being shown that i could deserve more i could get more i could that that um perhaps another partnership would be better than this one that i would be happier than this one this is this is a bit of an interesting <laughs> message we've got again the fool here my first yes we're definitely saying you know don't make any mistakes look look before you leap basically um risks you can indicate risks so um Swiss definitely saying don't take unnecessary risks right because the sun and first you might be unhappy with the outcome uh, within 24 hours because the judgment is also in my first so needing to make a good judgment call and all of us is right here too it indicates a choice so i just see again um virgo taurus capricorn you're gonna make a choice within 24 hours planning deciding in terms of your future plans because or some sort of a like management managing something more efficiently okay or this could be space where saying hey you need to manage your money six of pentacles here um don't be overly generous because six of pentacles can indicate generosity as well don't be overly generous because right next to the high fund you gotta make sure that um if you're being generous it's for a good call it's for a good cause and that whoever you are loaning your money to that this person is going to return it to you <laughs> so that's definitely what i'm seeing here four swords knight of Pen uh, king of pentacles something about you being generous yeah maybe some of you're gonna do some charity within 24 hours but also it feels a bit like six of cups in reverse hey remember it's like the past it's like bringing up the past bad memory it's basically saying hey remember in the past you did this and did that with your money and you learned uh, some lessons from it don't forget it because the high five indicates a lesson right don't forget it because it got you kind of stuck with the cherry in reverse because it was a bad judgment call so all right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who would like to be notified every time when I post your videos, and then every time when I go live, uh, hey, yeah, and don't forget to check out my live stream that I just did. Uh, was it yesterday day before yesterday but there are 12 individual signs readings there for those of you who've been asking for individual sign readings you can check it out over there oh no i actually forgot to timestamp it i have to timestamp it but anyway take care hope to see you back here again sooner than later bye